The Westboro Council on Aging meeting was today at 120. It's 1.20, and I'm going to ask you all to please remember the meeting is being recorded, and I would like us all to stay in to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. says that the goal with that final uh, design construction and bid documents ready for the spring town meeting. I believe the, what I heard you say was you wanted them ready to be sent out in January so that you could have costs back for the right. Yes. Time, right? Yes. So, so I, does that need to be in there too? So, uh, well, what page are you on? Two. So uh, it's at the bottom of my page meeting. two. The statement <laughs> starts with the goal is to have a final design construction and bid documents ready. And after the word ready, I would add to send out in January so that we will have real costs and then continue for the spring town meeting. So you want to be ready to send out in January so that we will have, we will real, have costs. real costs for and the town meeting. And that, that was just for phase one. Oh. Final design okay, so just add that little for phase one. It says Article 9 of the warrant requests a transfer of 1.3 million. I thought it was 1.2 million. Does that make a difference? A little over. One, it was a little over 1.2. So just round it to 1.3? You could put up approximately 1.3. Okay. Yeah, one point three million. I had well, you mean requesting a transfer of one point three million? Yeah, but it's just it's approximately one point three million. Approximately. Right. All right. So add the word approximately and there's a few words in the last. Up 
update on what's going on. Um, so, so this is just an update. So we, him and I, met with um, the three full-time staff um, on Friday to talk about the transition uh, or the coverage uh, during the period which Alma is on leave, going to be on leave. Um, and so we did type up a memo because we thought that would be the easiest way to make sure that we we're all on the same page. So from November 9th, um, which is Saturday, uh, through December 31st, that's the period which I'll go down and leave, um, our, our intent, what we do, we intend to have um, hands working out of the senior center during that time, during certain time, certain time periods. Um, we've articulated time periods here because we wanted people to know when they could count on, uh, on her being physically on site. Um, obviously being available throughout the entire work week. Um, and the ideas would be to, out to support the staff in carrying out the duties outlined in their respective job descriptions, support the council by working with the chair to develop the meeting agendas, um, correspond with any outside agencies, including state or other town departments, to the extent that communication would normally be the responsibility of the executive director. And then I think a really important one is that um, when an, any employee is on leave, they are not to be working. Um, and so that means that none of you, uh, none of the staff should be reaching out to Alma um, for te um, topics related to town business. And she equally, I'm sure, will not reach out to any of you for that. Um, and so should work through him or the appropriate staff member as you typically would um, during that time. And to the extent that we need to reach out to Alma, we would do that through, through Kim um, as the HR director. So Kim, um, Kim has been meeting with Alma weekly um, for I don't know over a year. Um, so aware of things that are going on, and um, has been working with staff. So, so this is the coverage. So this is not the, the transition plan. Uh, this is not um, in terms of recruitment or anything like that. This is coverage plan for the period which Alma is on. Happy to answer any questions anyone has. Um. Well, additional coverage. Uh, it's the current staff has got a lot to do, but they obviously are going to be taking over a lot of, uh, of the work that, uh, that Al was doing now. And they're already swamped. I mean, the, so, uh, I mean, they come and mentioned many times that either more hours or one of the questions was, can we extend the uh, tax work program? We have several people here that are now trained. They know how to answer the phone with, you know, with the push stuff and so forth. Is there any way we could get some additional coverage? Yeah, so we yep, so we talked to staff about those concerns, and we have a couple different ideas that we have to, that we're pursuing. Um, but one is, um, additional some additional hours uh, is one of those ideas. So, um, so we're gonna, we're working on that. Yeah. Any idea when you might have that kind of? They were hours? they were uh, when we first talked to them about it. They were trying to help us identify the period which we would need someone. Um, and then we've actually um, we've had a lot of other staff in town. Like our other departments have reached out wanting to be supportive of the transition. So. Um, so we're working through that. If they're paid under a budget, how is that going to affect the budget? Um, well, so we have the current senior center budget, um, and then it could be that if we were to bring someone, if we were to bring others in, we would potentially need to ask the finance committee for a reserve fund transfer. Um, and we've already talked, we've already put the chair on notice that that's a possibility. Would any of the present staff be getting an increase in pay? No. If there were, if additional hours were worked, then they would get an increase. Is additional there a hours for them? to 
initiate the search for Alma's replacement during this period? Yes. Um, so we were going to ask all of you if we could um, have an, another meeting in, later in November where we could talk more through that. So I'm hoping we can identify a date today to have another meeting. Um, I'm the newbie, so I feel like I can ask questions. No, please. Mm -hmm. Not look too dumb. <laughs> so um, it just, it's very high level. How does the recruitment process sure. work? Yep. So, um, so the the this, the executive director position is an appointment by the town manager. So I would appoint that, and then this committee uh, has to vote concurrence mm -hmm. of of that appointment. Um, that being said, the way that we typically will replace um, or will that we'll do the search is um, the the recruitment is broadly advertised. So we advertise. Um, advertise it in the state association we advertise you know sort of anywhere that would make sense depending on the position um, it, for a director level position it's took that typically is three to four weeks um, that we advertise and then we usually have a search committee or review committee um, and so I would ask um, probably two members of the council on aging so you would this next meeting in November you would appoint your two um, representatives to that committee um, we'll probably have a select board member and then we always bring in other um, department heads that work closely with that position so in this case probably recreation public safety um, you know, other uh, department heads that would work closely and so do you plan to post the, the, the position relatively soon only because typically November with Thanksgiving, and then yeah. after Thanksgiving, December's crazy, so I don't know if you'll get any, <laughs> do you, is it better to post it now and see what comes through in we January? Just, we want to do it sooner and later, but we want we need to have one more meeting with the council first okay. to go through that. Okay. Um, also, you know, uh, even though Alma will be on leave, the position's not vacated mm -hmm. until January, right. so when you're looking at sort of when the budget is available, it pushes it, pushes it out further. Okay. Will you be working with the MCOA, Massachusetts Council on Aging? To include them in the process? Well, uh, they may have a place where you can advertise. They, do. they may they have do. people that they can yeah. recommend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll work with them. Yeah. Chris, you may also ask. Yes. Are you the because we don't have someone currently for zoning board as an example the historic commission um, it's very the, AFC, the advisory finance committee was without um, someone taking minutes for over a year because it's a very difficult position to get uh, to get filled so I don't know if you have anything to add to that no that's what we've talked about can we hire a temporary what, what do you mean hire a temporary so if we go out to an agency it's until we fill that position yeah, so so we don't typically do that, no. Um, it's it's more costly, um, and then you have to go through a different type of process. The only benefit that you might have, as opposed to some of the other boards, is that you meet during the day, maybe in the meetings. That might be a bonus, I'm not sure. but Typically, when um, committees meet during the day, the sitting administrative assistant will take minutes. So a lot of the... The day, day that the daytime meetings are staffed by the admins, the related admins. So the planning board admin, for example, takes minutes at multiple meetings that happen during the day. Mm -hmm. So no temporary. So. so I know they have temporary agencies that hire secretarial jobs for secretarial positions. Yes, they do. But we, we don't use them because it's it's a lot more expensive to go in that direction. So we use a volunteer instead? 
most boards and committees don't have minute takers, and um, I'm not sure, I don't remember the sort of the history of this specific position, but, um, you know, they're... But we uh, have had one for 20 years. Right. Yeah. Yep. So, longer than that. Yes. And when we all joined, well, I'll speak for myself, when I was asked to become a member of the Council on Aging, that was my first question. But I don't think, I, I know it's frustrating, but we, but we don't, as, I mean, as far as I understand it, we don't have an applicant. We don't. So well, it was never, it's never been posted to the best we, of the We've had the board secretary posting up and we've, we had no response. So and this is a more recent opening. No, no, it's, it was January. And you mentioned oh, last spring, uh, maybe possibly combine some of the other um, minutes. Right? Whoever took minutes for other committees, maybe combining one and right. make it one position, so that person would take minutes of say planning and you know different committees around town it would be basically a full composition. You mentioned that. We, we talked about how it's done in other committees. So I think one of the things <coughs> to understand that we've talked about, and I've had this discussion with Alma, is we do have many other boards and committees where it's either committee members volunteer to take the minutes, or as Christy said, staff, the staff who are affiliated or support the committee are responsible for taking the minutes. So we have, um, you know, so I, you know. I'm, I'm running about usually six pages of minutes every year for almost close to a year. Um, so, um, I'm just shorten them up <laughs> to make it brief. Because I did look at some other yes. minutes yeah. online, we, and they don't no. it's put not, the volume it's in that I have. It's not a transcript, so. That's absolutely, and I'm sorry. I just won't go into the detail. Yeah. I mean, you don't need to. I mean, you need to record the, the votes that are taken, give a overview of the discussion. Now that your um, meetings are recorded, you have that also as a record. I have tried to limit, but I'm averaging six pages. I, I luckily that last one, uh, October twenty first, I had two pages, which was amazing. <laughs> so if you all are aware of people who would be interested in the position, you should send them our way. Um, but it's, it is a, it's very difficult, and, and I know a lot of people think that there are people out there that are sort of looking for a very it, it limited... It takes time to, to put it together logically. Right. Say. Oh, yeah, they don't no, just it throw it out there, and it's... Anyway. Yeah. No, I, I know what it's time. Will the uh, recording by the TV station be a substitute for no, minutes? No, no, it can't be. <clears throat> but that puts our secretary in a very awkward position. Why is that? So the other right. only other alternative is to have somebody else want. We take volunteers, yeah. take turns. Or if you want to help us recruit, I mean, it's just we can't. I mean, we if people well, aren't applying, it's really difficult. <laughs> Christy, you said that Anyways. perhaps someone from the staff can do it? That's typically what we see during day meetings. Is it be, it be a staff member of the senior center? Or is that what you mean? That would That's what it would be if it was for this committee. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Does so anyone have questions about the, the coverage, though? No. They just don't have the time. It's the staff. We shot staff as it is. It almost appears that there's two phases. One is to find a director the other is the interim, and to find support for the interim, so that the senior center can function until a director comes along. Mm -hmm. So I guess, taking back uh, what John had to say, you know, perhaps we can provide some uh, financial support for the existing staff that is at the senior center now, or in this senior center, so to say, apparently do the lion's share of the work. They know the routine. Mm -hmm. And I think it's rather unfair to fo force the entire process on Kim. 
Well, actually, this, so this is how we typically handle these things. So an example is we have a finance director currently um, who functions at the same level as Kim, and we don't have a chief assessor. So our finance director has stepped in to f who, because the chief assessor reports up to him, and so he is continuing to do that work as well as the finance director work. We also have seen that in the community development. So it's very consistent with how we've done it in the past. saying is there's no relief for our present secretary of she I didn't say that. I said that we have it's a very difficult position to fill. That seems pretty minimal. We had the other we've had the ad posted for I think over two years and we have not had responses and, and we push it out. So it's for whatever reason that's the reality. I was going to say, Nancy's only been gone since she We've had this. other board secretary no, openings, and even just more broadly, anytime we've posted that. Because I've been here for five years, and I think it took us um, to fill the AFC role. That took us over, that was over 18 months. Yeah. Did I hear you say that? Um, advisory finance. Did I hear you say you took that posting out? You took it out of the system? Yeah, I don't think it's currently up. I'd have to double track. Why, do, why is it up? Why not have it up there? We can I'll, I'll, we can revisit if, if we want to post it. And I guess the point is, we had it. If, if you are aware of people who would be interested and are able to do the work, then by all means, send them our way. Whether there's a posting up or not at the moment, if you're aware of somebody, send them, send them my way. I can provide some explanation of how it works. Well, I don't think it would do uh, any harm to have it. Reposted. We have less than 20 minutes right now for this meeting. I don't think we're going to solve anything more having to do with the secretary than we have in the past. Well, that may be the case, but we have a problem. With yeah, but I don't think it's solved now. Really like it's not solved yet this year, or probably not next year. I do think we so. need to move on yes. in light of the fact that if we do not finish this meeting, when the meeting out there is over, we're back in here. So you may leave way after. Okay. <laughs> Alma. Veterans uh, The veterans lunch is on Friday, 1230. Um, right now, I think we have about 35 or 40 people signed up. Please make sure we, um, now if you want to come, be sure you sign up. I have to call the food order in on Wednesday afternoon. Um, we are, um, this is the, I think I figured out, this is like the 30, I want to say the 31st time we've done this. Wow. Um, yeah, so. And certainly if you're a veteran, <coughs> need to make sure you sign up. I signed up a week ago. Okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> <laughs> when is, but when is it? Is it not 12.30? Yeah. Thank you for the, yeah. for the reminder. Some lady called this morning and she said to Kristen, I understand the veterans lunch is at 12.30. I was told it was at 12 o'clock and I want to know who changed it. I said, <laughs> first of all, any of the big parties like veterans, holidays, are always at 12.30 because of the bus. So nobody changed anything. It's always been at 12.30. So I don't know why this woman got so upset, but whatever. So anyway. Just think, it's only been 41 years that you've had to deal with these issues, Alma. Yeah. And this is not the first one. No. no. Okay. Thank you. Is there anything you need the council to help you with the day for lunch? On Friday, um, I mean, you know, TJ sent servers and stuff, so we don't need that. I don't know about setting up on Thursday afternoon. We're going to have to investigate that. But if we need, I'll shoot out an email to everybody. Thank you. So. Okay. Move right along. 
the budget, or should we go right to things? No, we can do the budget real quick. Um, I submitted my budget um, to Christy yesterday afternoon um, for the coming year. Um, I have copies if anybody wants to see it. Um, I have my meeting tomorrow at 4, I think, to discuss. Um, it's uh, a bit bigger than the last time, but um, interestingly enough, most uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of our employees are all at their maximum step this year, um, which means yeah, it's a little bit higher. But anyway, so I, I can make a copy if anybody's interested. Can I ask a question? It says here fiscal year 26. So the budget you you submitted is for what time period? Next July through. June, July first okay. of 25 to June 30th of 26. Okay, it's typically submitted in, in November. That's how it's typically done? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you. yeah, because Westboro's town meeting is like right. one of the earliest ones, right. so it's got to yeah. be okay. done by. What's uh, the assumption for uh, entry into, you know, partial entry into the building in your budget, or is there not in that time period? I, well, no, because I don't, I mean, I'm not, that's not, I doubt that's going to happen in that frame, and if it does, we'll make adjustments, obviously, but um, for right now, it's based on us being here for at least a year. For that entire yeah. period. That, yeah. Uh, like I said, if that, if that changes, right? then the, that'll have to change, so. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, because I would think it would be 12 to 18 months following March town meeting. Okay, I agree. I just want to make sure that it's consistent. Yeah. So I have a question for you, Will. Yeah. The uh, budget includes uh, a, uh, the uh, pay for uh, an executive director. Mm -hmm. Is that in this budget that mm -hmm. you're proposing? Mm -hmm. And uh, with a new uh, executive director, uh, is that the same amount? Is um, no, what Christy suggested I do is put in where I would if, that, if I was coming back, put in the same amount that, and then it, that way you've got the money to adjust either, you know, depending upon where the new director starts in, this, in the, uh, the salary range. So, so if that's approved at the town meeting, mm -hmm. uh, then that budget will be approved, mm -hmm. and that payment will be approved for the executive director. Mm -hmm. But this is a new person. And yeah, but this how way. How is that going to work? I, it's it's so the way that we the way that um, employees are paid is uh, their position is classified on a classification plan, and then whatever classification you have, a, you have an associated salary schedule that starts at the lowest step and goes up to this top step. So Alma is at the top step currently, so she budgeted to the top step for fiscal 26. When we make an offer, we will make the offer based on the person's experience um, and education and things like that, qual any qualifications, and it'll be on that salary schedule. Now, let's say you hire someone in February. Mm -hmm. What The salary will come from what was earmarked for Alma right. when the budget was done. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we don't have, we're not required to use the full amount of that budget. Okay. No, that's fine. But. Um, Thanksgiving, um, we've been working with Roberta Brown from the Knights of Columbus. Um, Thanksgiving dinner will be, the, the, the um, delivered ones will be go going out on Tuesday, and Mary Ellen you know, will be looking for volunteers. Um, everything except the number of meals we need has pretty much been ordered at this point. Um, and then um, we've already had people sign up to go to the Knights of Columbus. So. I think that um, all of the letters to the caregiver dinner and Meals on Wheels people and some other folks, those will go out hopefully tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, so we, I think we've got this under control. <laughs> this is the first big thing. I have um, left Mary Ellen in charge of this whole process. Um, she's very happy to do that. The other thing I have here, because some of you were not here on the 
some of you were not here for the last um, meeting. Uh, there it is. It's attached to the budget. Excuse um, me, may we help you? Oh, it's, it's Shelby. Wrong meeting. Um, anyway, uh, Okay, um, the turkey basket that the council usually fills for the um, fair, I have the list here. Some people did sign up um, last time around, but if you weren't here and you want to help with some of this, that would be great. Um, that's, um, that's there. And um, you can take that stuff to Mary Ellen and she'll be putting it together. It needs to be here by Thursday the 21st. Perishable. I don't know if we can put it in the refrigerator. It's not that big of a deal. And then this happened um, after I had already posted the agenda. Um, Brad came in to see me Thursday afternoon. Um, it, it, this is from Brad Huff. It's my intention to inform you that I intend to retire from the Westboro Senior Center bus driver position effective December 31st. He's been driving with us for 18 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Brad. Yeah, so like I said, he brought this to me Thursday afternoon before I left, and I was like, well, okay, so what he'll be Brad posting yet another job for. What huh? is Brad's position? He drives a minibus. So, Everything that's scheduled for November and December are pretty much okay. Um, the, um, you know, we've had a lot of, we have a lot going on, and we made, we purposely made the decision not to add a whole lot more in December because of everything that's going on. Um, Stephanie will be doing the holiday presents program. Um, Mary Ellen's got some. Um, programs moved in there. Ballet is going to start next week at the community center. Tai Chi has now moved over to the community center, um, um, although it doesn't reflect that in the newsletter because I didn't, wasn't aware they were doing this. Um, the men of song are kind of, so there's a lot going on in December, so we just kind of made the decision we weren't going to add any more to it. So. I got a notice the other day um, that the supporters group is not being Well, I think they're still going to meet that day, but not have their annual meeting. The annual meeting. Yes. <coughs> they're going to save that until December, and they're going to meet at 10 o'clock in the morning of the holiday, on the 12th, the holiday party. I know. I Because any closer gets, you know, any closer gets too close to Christmas and all that good stuff. So they are still going to have, they are moving. Um, they've been doing a lot of work, as you can see. <coughs> Kristen and Stephanie will be working on it. We're going to try to get December's done on Thursday, which is why we also aren't going to add any more stuff because we'll have enough. Yeah. So, so that they can do one more. Well, they're not going to put it out until the end of the month, even if it comes back, because that would just confuse everybody. So, um, yeah, but it'll be done. And we're, like I said, we're going to try to get that together on Thursday. And, so that she can do one more with me here. <clears throat> so. Queen, what day is it we do the, all the baskets, like 60 baskets? That's Tuesday the 26th. The 26th, okay. Mm -hmm. And Mary Ellen's got your names, so. <laughs> you have such a great system going that I just. I'm <clears throat> Just about get it done to the 60, and the door opens, and they all line up to get their notices and get a job. It's yep. amazing. Yep. So, um, um, on the agenda here, it says update on current programs. Did I miss that? No. Well, part of that was the was me leaving. Um, no, like I said, we're we're in good shape. Everything is. Um, 
everything, people are signing up for things, everything is, um, you know, as set as it's going to be at this point, there's not going to be any additional things added to the calendar for the end of the year. Um, Stephanie right now is working on leaf raking, and kindness week is next week too. some things that have come from Westboro Connects to distribute for Kindness Week, and we've already identified some people for that. But she also, um, like I said, she's got the, um, she's been working on leaf raking. Um, she's got, I think, National Honor Society, Student Council, one of the churches in town, and there's a fourth one. I can't remember who they've all got volunteers for. Every, uh, every month, obviously, we have a, a standard set of programs that just have to be. Yep. Uh, but there's always some new things, uh, mm -hmm. unique things, but only that month. Who's working on that for the January? Mary uh, Ellen. December, Mary Ellen. Yep. The December is going to be very busy, and within three weeks from now. And then you take a breath. Well, well in January, down. it starts the uh, property tax work program, starts again in January. And um, that's all been written up detail by detail by detail. Yeah. Um, so that shouldn't be a problem. And I've talked with John um, Steinberg um, about, how, you know, if there's a glitch or a question about that, because he's worked with me the last few years on that program. So it should it should be OK. <coughs> I mean, this is our 21st or 22nd year of doing this program. So. I did, and I, you know, it was, it, as with everything in my life over the last couple months, it was kind of bittersweet. I got to see some colleagues that, you know, I probably will never see again in my life. Um, went to some really good workshops. Um, had a lot of fun with the staff, up, you know, up, out dinners and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, um, but we, um, and yeah, the weather didn't hurt at all either. <laughs> I oh, saw some of the most beautiful sunsets oh, I've ever seen great. in my yeah. life down yes. here. But yeah, um, yeah it was uh, it was it was a good good few days. So. Did you get to sit on the dock of the bay? I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my retirement song, sitting on the dock of the bay. <laughs> no, mine mine's standing in the dining room window watching it snow. <laughs> <laughs> Being yeah. very aware of the time that we have about one minute. I would like to just make a simple address to Alma. 41 years of service, countless phone calls, requests for rides, meals, aid with heat. Oh, we need air conditioning units. Each and every one of these requests were very quickly fulfilled. Alma right there. If you make me cry, I'm wrong. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm, I'm not going yeah. As a member of this group, a leader of this group, she shared with the group that she had helped, but never did she ever reveal the names of the people or the confidences. And I just think that is phenomenal. One other aspect of Alma's position is that evidently the director of the Council on Aging needs to be a great cook. <laughs> we have had recipes shared, peanut butter fudge, Alma. I know, I'm going to try to figure out how to make some of that for the finger and get it over here Perfect. so that people don't lose their minds. Alma was very willing always to um, 
share recipes and um, from time to time when we come into our council meeting. Oh my goodness, Alma had baked for us to keep us all happy. Yeah, it's therapy. <laughs> Uh, during COVID, Alma and the group in our office kept this program running in that right to take a peep. Needs were addressed again. Strict confidence. It didn't matter who needed or what they needed. Alma always stepped up to plate last years. So that being very truthful, Alma, you will be missed. Thank you for being a very efficient, devoting, devoted, caring director, and for many of us, a wonderful friend. board to discuss the whole recruitment process we need a committee are you just gonna put some dates out there we can put some dates out because I know we need to move on to the next meeting so we'll, we'll contact everybody okay. yeah. but it'll be in uh, November before in the next before Thanksgiving. Yeah, before Thanksgiving. Before Thanksgiving. okay yeah well, so this list that came out my phone number is wrong I will I will correct the list because Diane had a correction too I will correct the list and um, I'll put the new ones here Second. 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 Second.